Hi, today we're gonna have a look at another navigation, which will be Vertica uh, in this case. Uh, we will have a hover status, when you can see the navigation slides to the right. Uh, when you click on the button, it, uh, it remains in the active status. Uh, then we have another click, the previous one goes back to the normal status, and the new one remains active. So if we go back to our editor, obviously exercise files again. If we download them, you have CSS folder with a CSS uh, core.css file, JS folder with core.js, and the latest at the time of this recording version of jQuery. Then you also have index.html. So if you open this file now, you have a basic structure of the page ready. Now we're going to create our navigation. So we start with the section with the ID of wrapper. I'm going to create a few new lines. Inside of the section, uh, we're going to have enough tags. Uh, open a new L tag with the ID of navigation. Inside of the navigation, we start with the LI with the class first. And inside of the LI tags, we're going to have a tag with href simply as hash. We're not going to be linking here. To anything you obviously will be linking to some pages so you can replace it with whatever uh, destination you wish now i'm going to put the first label will be home i'm going to copy uh sorry this li with the atac paste it underneath now i'm removing the first class the first class will indicate that this is the first button in the navigation then we're also going to have a last one we have home about us now if i copy this again we remove this class uh, about us. Then we're going to have services. If I copy this again uh, and paste twice services, then we're going to have testimonials. And the last one will be contact us. But as I said, we're going to apply class last to the last uh, element in our navigation. So our structure, so the structure of our navigation is completed. Let's move to the next video. We're going to work with our CSS file.